Thank you very much. Alongside Frank Saravalli, evaluating this trade for Jordan Eberle, I think there's two parts to it, Frank. One, it's about the cap. Two, it's about the player's performance. You start with the salary cap and the benefits the Oilers realize by making this deal. Well, it's a huge cap savings. I think when you look at the Edmonton Oilers and the way their salary cap is structured, they were looking to move one of those $6 million pieces that they have. And we've thought for more than a year now that it would be Jordan Eberle. He was the guy that was at the top of our trade bait list at this time last year. And then you add in the performance that he had in the playoffs and it's sort of made him the sure bet to be the guy that would be on the move the reason for that is the Oilers salary cap situation looks absolutely fine at the moment Ryan but it's next year after signing Connor McDavid to a new contract extension this summer and also Leon Dreisaitl the Oilers salary cap is going to change in such a dynamic way that this is Peter Shirelli planning for the future and resetting the salary cap from what he was given and trying to make things work out a little bit more in a balanced way. Now diving into the performance of the player I mean Jordan Everly is a six million dollar player he's expected to put up points didn't score a goal in the postseason really struggled in the series against Anaheim after an okay first round I think that they would be hard-pressed to trust Jordan Eberle at $6 million heading into another playoff year with him as a top six forward. And I think for that reason, they're willing to take maybe a little bit more of an offensive unknown in Ryan Strom, who's had decent numbers in the past, but is coming off a couple of years where his totals aren't maybe what they could be if he skated next to Connor McDavid. What's your take on Strom and why the Islanders were moving on? Well, that's why they're making this bet, is that this is a high-skilled player that they're bringing in, that they're hoping that they can plug into that lineup in that spot, possibly playing with a McDavid, or a dry settle or whoever and making that skill component go and the potential that he could put up some big numbers sort of factors into the equation I would bet that at the end of this when all said and done that you could see Strom's numbers go up in a big way possibly close or the hope is that he'd be close to where Eberly was last year at three and a half million dollars less bigger player heavier more robust Peter Shirelli pointed to that probably more suited to their style of hockey when you look at the size of the players they've been bringing in and more suited to playoff hockey in the Western Conference next up for the Oilers. They'll keep an eye on uh, pending unrestricted free agent defenseman Chris Russell. Expect that deal to be completed in the next couple of days and likely in the range of $4 million over four years.